Looking to add custom backgrounds for Microsoft Teams, Rooms and Android? Don't worry, we got you covered. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Mo Mondays. In this week's episode, we are going to be talking about a feature which customers have been asking for for a very, 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 very long time, which is adding custom backgrounds to Microsoft Teams Rooms on the Android platform. Now, you're already able to add custom backgrounds to Teams Rooms on the Windows platform. If you check out the playlist, you'll see some earlier episodes of Mo Mondays where I actually talk about how you can create um, custom backgrounds for Teams Rooms on Windows. Not the most easiest thing to do, but it is possible and it can be done. Um, but Microsoft has literally just released a brand new update, which is adding custom backgrounds to Teams Rooms on Android. And the best part is it is so easy to do. We've been asking for ages to create a simple GUI for you to be able to upload your custom backgrounds to Teams Rooms. Uh, and the good, good news is Microsoft's actually done it for the Android platform. So in order for us to do that, we need to head over to the Teams Admin Center. So let's head over there now. So as always, you need to head over to https forward forward slash admin.teams.microsoft.com and be signing uh, with an administrator's account in order for you to get into the Admin Center. So you hopefully watched enough episodes to know where you need to be. Uh, on the left-hand side, you'll see all your devices. Simply go ahead and hit the Teams Rooms on Android button. Once you hit that, it will load up and it will show you all the devices that you currently have uh, on your tenant. You'll see mine down here, which is MTROA Mo Home Office. That's my device. Um, okay. In the last episode of Moment Days, I spoke about configuration files, how you can set up settings uh, for your devices. Now, in order for you to add a custom background to Teams Rooms on Android, we need to create a brand new configuration file. So if you were paying attention to the last episode, you should know exactly how to do that. If you don't, don't worry, I will show you anyway. So uh, across the top here, you'll notice we have what we call configuration profiles. You go ahead, you select that one there. Now you'll see I've got a bunch of them here already. We're gonna go ahead for the purpose of this video to actually create a brand new one uh, to show you. So simply go ahead, hit the add button uh, across here, name what your profile is gonna be. So again, in this case, I'm just gonna put uh, test. Oh, let's put it down as test five. I can't remember how many tests I've got. Um, and then here, I'm just gonna put that gown. There we go. Um, and then like in the last episode, you've got all your different device settings um, that you can set up. Um, so in my case, you know, the things that I generally will check is things like language. So make sure you've got the correct language set up. I'm gonna set mine to United Kingdom. Time zone, super important. I always seem to miss this one out. Uh, the time zone will be set on based on whatever your tenant is set up as. Mine's the US, obviously I sit here in the UK. Um, so I'm gonna go down and find the UK or London, which, be here somewhere, there we are, uh, London right there. Uh, and then you can go ahead and just set anything else up. Vis um, watch the last episode of Moment Days, you'll see all the different settings that are possible uh, in a configuration profile. Where we are going to go to, which is different from the last episode, uh, is the background option. So you'll see we've got Vivid Flag, which is the default background. Um, but if you hit that, that, that list, you'll notice we now actually have a brand new option, which is use a custom background. You'd also notice that Microsoft uh, have uh, actually put the little pro icon next to it. This is really handy because when there's new features that now hit Teams Admin Center and the pro portal, for example, um, it will have pro next to it. So you know you need to have a pro license in order for you to do that. I have a pro license, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit use a custom background. Now, there are some prereqs um, that you need to kind of think about when creating the backgrounds, just like on Teams Rooms on Windows when creating custom backgrounds for that, you do need to pay attention to where all the icons are, like the join button, where the calendar is, you know, that you're not obscuring any of that important information. Um, it also needs to be in a PNG or JPEG or uh, format, and it cannot, well, the minimum resolution is 920 uh, by 1080. Now you can do a simple Google search, for example, or a Bing search um, to find wallpapers that suit you. But if you are creating a truly custom one with a company background, as an example, you need to uh, bear in mind those minimum resolutions that you need. Uh, of course, the image must not exceed 20 meg either. Now, the good thing about Teams Rooms on Android is you can actually select different custom backgrounds for the front of room display. That's the screens that are on the wall uh, and your touch console. That's the screen that sits in the table, the one that controls your call and your meetings, etc. You can set two different ones up for that. Um, so you'll see you've got the options here. You've even got one for <clears throat> extended display. So you can have, you know, the same image across both uh, displays or you can have 
different ones um, for different displays if you've got extended displays uh, set up. Um, and Microsoft have actually created a custom background, if you want to call it that, for you as well. So if you don't know where to start, and I will drop the link down below, you can actually click on uh, that link across here and click on the Android custom background templates. This will give you a blank template and tell you exactly where all the uh, buttons are, the calendar is, where the icons are that you want to try and avoid. This is a really good way to get started. Download the zip file. It's got all the files in there, and then you can create your custom background based on that. That way, you know, you're not going to be, you know, kind of covering any major icons. So, uh, you know, great link. I'll drop that down below and you're able to see that. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I go ahead and upload you simply just hit that upload button it will open up you know your file explorer and then you go ahead and you just find what the image looks like i'm going to select that one there hit open um and then i'm going to uh, also upload one for the console as well console meaning the touch console that sits in the middle of the table same thing that applies here you know you hit the uh, upload button it'll open up file explorer uh, you then select whichever file it is uh, and then it will then show up um, uh, on the team's admin center uh, once you've done that part continue through the config file make sure you're happy with all the settings that you have uh, across there and then you simply go ahead and you hit that save button right at the bottom of the page again if you are watching the last episode of moment days you'll then know how to go ahead and deploy that custom profile, that configuration file to your devices. Uh, just in case you don't know how, let me show you how it's done. On the left hand side, again, go ahead and hit that Teams Rooms on Android button. When you go ahead and you hit that Teams Rooms uh, on Android, uh, it will then show you all your devices. You simply find the device that you want to apply it to. So I've got this one across here. Hit the tick um, and then you go assign configuration and then literally type in what the config is. If you remember, I selected minus test five. So you simply go ahead and hit the test five. And then right at the bottom of that page, there's an apply button. You simply go ahead and hit that apply button. I'm not going to apply that one. I am going to apply a different one across here. So let me just go test three EU, um, that one there, and then go apply. Once you hit apply, it basically then queues it up. Um, and uh, what you can do is you can actually open up your device. Uh, and then on the right hand side, you've got that history tab. If you touch on that history tab, it will then show you what Teams Admin Center is doing. So you'll see in this case, there is a config update. It's queued. It's ready to send uh, across there. Now, okay, so here on screen right now, you see currently what my Microsoft Teams Rooms device looks like. Uh, and just to prove it's the real deal, I can go ahead and hit the more button and then you know hit on settings, for example, and see what we've got across here. Um, the config file right now is currently queued up uh, on the Teams admin center, ready to be pushed down to my devices. Now, this can take anything, in my experience, up to an hour. Usually, it's around the 15, 20 minute mark for it to push over onto devices. So currently, what you see right now is the default background, the vivid flag background that, that, that Microsoft generally have out of the box. Um, and obviously, you saw me push out that new config file with that custom background. Um, so we're going to wait for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and hopefully what you'll see uh, in the next shot is the background changed with my brand new background that actually I really, really like. So I'll be back in a second. And through the magic of editing, you can now see my brand new custom background for Teams Rooms on Android. Uh, in reality, it probably took about 10 minutes. Um, so I waited about 10 minutes, then uh, the config uh, profile was pushed across onto the device. And now I've got a pretty cool looking background. I'm sure you guys will agree that's an amazing one. If anyone is asking where I got the background from, it was just a simple Google search. I just typed in abstract backgrounds and it actually worked out really, really well. It doesn't really block any, any icons or anything along those lines. But remember, if you are unsure, use the link um, to download the custom template uh, and you'll be able to make sure that you're not covering anything up. With that in mind, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, watching this week's episode. Um, as always, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. And no doubt I shall see you for the next episode. Ciao.